Fear, the one emotion that someone feels when confessing their feelings. Questions begin circling your mind. Do they see me the same way that I see them? Am I good enough? Is that a dick? Will I be rejected? Is that a dick? Will I be friend zoned? According to the numerical rating scales, being put in the friend zone is classified as a 9, only slightly less painful than seeing Rent a Girlfriend getting robbed of anime of the year yet again. But recently, a variant of the friend zone has emerged. <laughs> Why are you gay? The bro zone. This occurs when a woman is turned down because the other party believes that they're in possession of a portobello mushroom. Now, this is a problem because Tomo is in fact a girl. The last few seasons have been stacked. Chainsaw Man, Made in Abyss, Kaguya-sama, freaking my life as Miss Inu Kaisan's dog. Peak after peak after peak. So how did this season respond? We got Farming Simulator, a Reddit user's wet dream, and the anime about a guy who cried so much they named the intro Crybaby. Luckily this season, we got one redeeming thing, Tubi's ass, but hey, we also got Tomo-chan as a girl. All romance anime have a gimmick that make them special. In Komi Can't Communicate, Komi Can't Communicate. In More Than a Married Couple But Not Lovers, there are more than a married couple but not lovers. And in Kiss X Sis, he kisses his sis. So what is the gimmick of Tomo? Tomo-chan is a girl. <laughs> Alright, get this, you won't see this coming. Tomo has a pushover female leads are a thing of the past. We're tired of seeing those cutesy little anime girls. Ooh, ooh, dashky, dashky, get that shit out of here, what do I look like, some kind of politician? Introducing the tomboy, she's like one of the boys, but one that was loved by her father. It is, the reverse femboy. Tomo has been a tomboy since she was younger, mostly due to being an only child that was trained in karate by a father who looks like a Tekken DLC character. When she was in elementary school, she spent most of her days hanging out with her friend June. Now, here's the thing about June. A neutron star is formed when a massive star collapses in on itself, making it the densest known object in the universe. Bam, 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 bam! There must be at least seven of these suckers inside of June's brain, because it took him forever to realize that Tomo was a girl. But to be fair, as a child, Tomo was built like that one guy from Cowboy Bebop. What was his name again? Who names their child that? Wait, that was a girl? I rest my case. But after training under the world's greatest detective, he came to a realization. Damn, my boy never skips chest day. Oh my god, those are movable mountains, calming cantaloupes, jiggling jello. Tits. <gasps> Now that they're in high school, Tomo wants June to see her as a woman. June, on the other hand, views Tomo as his best friend that hangs out all the time, that smack each other on the ass good morning because that's just how they do it down in Japan. But June has a quality that most male leads in romance anime don't have. He's not stupid. <laughs> He's not that stupid. He knows that Tomo is a girl, but doesn't want things to change. And what exactly doesn't he want to change? I'm trying to focus on the present. And my only goal is to beat her, I guess. Consensual abuse. You can't beat a woman while dating. This isn't a Chris Brown let's play. This is why we have Misuzu, and she is an asshole. An attractive one. She acts as Cupid, trying to help Tomo by giving her advice to act more girly to gain June's attention. And of course you have Carol. I don't know what the hell she is. Now that you have all the pieces, let's see how the interactions go. Tomo is seen talking with the captain of the karate club by dumb nuts and dimwit, and they don't like that very much because they want him. So what would you do if you saw a girl talking to a guy that you've never spoken to but like? Threaten them with the vocabulary you learned from Legally Blonde. We need to like talk to you like behind the gym or whatever. So um, there's this like guy we like? This leaves Tomo no choice but to double down equal rights equal fights. Tomboy, remember? She switches their sexuality, moving on. Enter titties. This is important, I promise. Carol sees Tomo talking with the captain. Now, to Carol, this man is no random stranger. It's her childhood friend, her fiance, her cousin. Very distant cousin, so it's okay. The instigator. Carol goes to Misuzu to find out how to crush Tomo, but she would never fold. This is her lifelong friend, her rock, her confidant. She folded. With knowledge to go towards June and Tomo would follow, she waddles out of there like the short bus penguin that she is. So why would she sell out her friend? Is it because she's just an asshole? Yes. 
but also to give Tomo a sense of urgency. Carol goes to June to get trained, because after all of this, her master plan is to fist fight Tomo. Training arc time. Ichi. Ready. Scratch that, this is a romance anime. You know what we need? A misunderstanding. Then they become best friends. Good arc. Now that you have the basic premise, what makes it different from every other romance anime released each season? Are you stupid? Did you not hear what I just said? The temporary remembrance effect is something that I just made up, yet it affects nearly every seasonal romance anime. What does Shikamori's Not Just a Cutie, When Will Ayuma Make His Move, and Ahar and Son have in common? I don't remember, because nobody remembers them after they end. Romance, anime, and manga are long and repetitive for no reason. Hi, I'm a character who has a trope I changed at the end of the arc just to revert back to how I was earlier. Each character arc is dragged out for so long that I begin to lose interest after only seeing a small amount of change. Tomo-chan as a girl consists of only 8 volumes, meaning that it will probably conclude this season. The manga does draw out some parts, but not a lot, and it ends, so it doesn't feel like it was milked for money. Not to mention, a lot of characters in romance anime are forgettable. Suck, 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 not you. Suck, suck. People literally call you senpai because they don't care to know your name. But the characters in Tomo-chan are kick-ass. Tomo is sick, she got fangs, she got a personality. Look, she even got those epic squirtle glasses. Now, Tomo does have one shortcoming. Her name literally translates to friend. That's almost as bad as naming your child Bochi. She doesn't even care to really be more girly. She's pretty confident who she is and only changing to get Jun's attention because of advice Misuzu gave her. This makes for an interesting dynamic because unlike most characters in romance anime, she's not a flawed individual. Mostly not a flawed individual. People keep telling me, I want a tomboy that pursues me, but they don't realize that it's just a tsundere with upgraded abuse. One wrong move and you may end up in the ICU, which is something, oh my God, is that the mom? Why do romance animes keep doing this? They can't keep getting away with this. Secondary significant other tier. Maybe a few trips to the ICU can't hurt me too much. To understand Jun, I think we need to start at the beginning. His first love. That's right, it was the mom. Call him Leonardo DiCaprio because he pre-ordered the updated version. Fear. Fear is what stops him from pursuing Tomo. Not because he's oblivious, but because he fears that he'll lose his best friend in the process. He wants to keep his relationship the same. Every morning, he wants to wake up and have an MMA division fight with different weight classes. This leads him to go through the five stages of grief. Denial. Nah, Tomo's not a girl. Anger. I can't punch her anymore. Bargaining. I won't punch her that hard. Depression. All my homies are hoes. Acceptance. Hey, where's the guy? He, uh, he hasn't gotten here yet. Why does Tomo like him? Well, as she said, he's the only guy she feels comfortable punching. I don't even think Amber Heard said something that ruthless. Beta by process of elimination tier. That was cute, but why does she look like a possessed doll? Carol could be studied for years and scientists still wouldn't be able to deduce what the hell she is. I don't typically like ditzy rich airhead characters, but this one had a lot of death and is honestly funny as hell. I never thought I would laugh so hard seeing someone get hit by a volleyball in the face. A cinnamon roll tear is... Is that her mom? They can't keep getting away with this! Huh? I wish somebody would gaslight me like that. If Tomo can crush people physically, Misuzu crushes people emotionally. She's a cold, cunning character that instigates nearly every situation in the anime, either because of her friendship with Tomo or her absolute hatred of June. Too bad Misuzu never got a love interest. What about Tanabe? Too bad Misuzu never got a love interest. I may have came for Tomo, but I stayed for Misuzu. W wait. They can't keep getting away with this! Best girl tier. Voice acting, absolutely peak. The voice actress for Tomo nailed the raspy voice in sub and dub. Sounded like she would run around yelling, Dati Bayo! Carol's voice actress was absolutely perfect in both sub and dub. And do you want to know why? Because it's the same person. The music was good in emotional moments, but nothing crazy. You may know the studio that animated this for things such as that garbage that got you addicted to a gacha game. Meaning, 
thing, the animation is not that impressive. Fights happen off screen, almost every shot is a still shot with a pan, and look at this! The mom is in the front seat, I know this because I'm very observant of her locations at all times, and now, the back seat. However, if you compare it in terms of romance anime, it's decent. One thing that the studio did do well was adapting the manga to near perfection, only skipping some minor stories, but almost all of the lines are word for word, which made the pacing phenomenal. This doesn't mean I enjoyed all of it though, they still do have those garbage rom-com tropes. Oh no, I saw your boobies, now I must run away. Oh no, you're sniffing me, now I must run away. Oh Oh no, I saw your panties, now I must pass out. It's stupid. Especially when they try to make scenes where Tomo must be saved by June from other men. Oh, she's getting groped on the bus, but she can't do anything. You pick now to act like a girl, and they do this so many times. But these negatives don't really even come close to outweighing the positives. The humor, peak. Look at this panel. He had become the tree. So, if you wish that your homies had boobs, check it out. Because Tomo-chan is, in fact, a girl. Zero out of ten, the divorce rate of high schoolers is 54%. Screw those happy people.